Hi, so as you guys know, I'm a very proud British person. I've got a flag here and everything. Okay, I know it's English, but... So I saw these two articles come up on my Facebook feed, both about how... Both, but, like, things that Americans find annoying or, like, infuriate about Brit British people. Um, one is by BuzzFeed, which is 21 things people hate about British people. And another one is a Twitter rant by an American having a go at everything about British life. So I thought I'd read through them and just slowly get more annoyed at these people. <laughs> So I'm going to start with this American Twitter rant. Uh, I'm going to do a thread on weird things British people do. Okay. Uh, started with cheese. You, cheese? It's shredded cheese, not grated cheese. Seriously, that's the first thing you have to go? That's the first thing you have a go at? On oh, cheese? What do y'all consider real cheese? Since when does cheese being wrapped in paper not make it real? What else would it be? Imaginary? Seriously? The cheese? There are much more important issues to discuss. Ugh. Like the next one. She has a real issue with the letter U. Why do y'all, y'all, add unnecessary U's to words like honour and favourite? It's literally honour and favourite. I'm really trying not to be that kind of like stuck up British person that's like, oh well, you came from us, so it's technically our language and it's technically English anyway, so you should be speaking proper British, proper English and all that kind of stuff. I'm trying not to be that person, but um, it's hard. I'm, I think it'd be harder as it goes on. Why do you say mum and not dud? Since y'all are obsessed with yous. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Why are y'all always so pale? Does the sun even exist over there? No. We all, we all just live on clouds and moon. It's just, it's terrible. Why is the train called a tube? That's not how it works. It's called, the, the tube is the nickname given by London people about the London Underground and that it, it goes in tunnels it goes through tubes uh, it, we don't call all trains tubes D the tube is specifically London Underground unless I've severely missed a lesson in how to be British <laughs> it's not uni it's college okay I just I'm not even gonna touch the American education system because it I can't, I can't figure out where grades meet with years and like middle school and I'm just not gonna touch that with a barge pile, I'm just gonna go, yep, yeah, cool, you do your thing, we do ours, that's cool. Your British slang makes zero sense. Our oh, British slang is impeccable. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Wazzock. <laughs> I mean, how can you floor it when we have words like wazzock? Um, what the hell is Boxing Day? Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Day and it's a glorious tradition. Don't knock it. Why do y'all? This person's obsessed with y'all. Is that an American thing or just her? I'm, assume I'm assuming it's a her. She's, <laughs> she's got a picture of one of the guys from One Direction as her icon. She can't hate Britain that much when she lo clearly loves One Direction. I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan of One Direction, but I mean, they are not British, so I mean, ugh. Why do y'all call an elevator a lift? It's an elevator. Well, ugh. <laughs> I sense I'm gonna be going ugh, more often. Why does everyone always say bloody like bloody hell? I don't know why I put on an accent there. And then she's gone, why, but gone, W-H-Y, why, why, I mean, 
Well, I don't have a... I, I got bloody hell from Ron Weasley. <laughs> Harry Potter. But, I mean, we're, we're special. We're special snowflakes over here. Why do you put XXXX after your sentences? What does that even mean? They're kisses, aren't they? Like at the end of texts, you... Do you not do that in America? <laughs> Is that just us? I don't get what you mean. <laughs> Why do you put the day before the month, like 27th of March, it's definitely March 27th. Right. <laughs> I think the British way of putting the date makes a lot more sense. Because you, Americans go month, day, then whatever. <laughs> I assume year, but they go, yeah, month, day. But it makes more sense to me to go day, month, year, because you're increasing, like, day, month, year. It makes more s it makes sense to me. I don't know if it makes, I don't know, oh. Ugh. <laughs> Why do y'all say maths? Like, what the point in making it plural? It's just math. Math? Or maths is short for mathematics. I think I touched this on my other one. My other um, questions Americans have for the Brits. But, like, <laughs> math, m maths is short for mathematics. So it's already plural. You just take the S and put... It, it, makes, it makes grammatical sense to me. Why so many telephone booths? You, you, y'all. She's got y'all. Y'all got cell phones, right? No, we haven't got cell phones. We've got mobiles. We've got phones. But, I mean, I quite like, I mean, some of them are kept for nostalgia. I'm going to try and seriously answer some of these. Like, some of them are just nostalgia and some are genuinely people, some people might not even, might, might have run out of credit. Might, they're just, I think they do serve a purpose. If they haven't, if they don't serve a purpose, then they would be gone. But... And then the next one's just red buses everywhere. They're not everywhere, mate. You're just still in London, mate. I don't know why I'm going mate all the time. I mean, yeah, there are red buses around, but the red buses that Americans think are everywhere, they're predominantly just in London. And occasionally spread elsewhere, but the stereotypical English slash British red bus, red double-decker bus. Go to London for them. <laughs> Everyone else, everywhere else has like got brands all over it and stuff like that. And, yeah. Why is drinking age 18? I'm still a kid at 18. <laughs> I mean, I get why the drink is different and all that kind of stuff, but I think I think 18 is the right age for it because at 18 you legally become an adult in, well cer certainly in Britain, you think you become an adult therefore you, you you get a lot more rights and responsibilities and all that kind of stuff so I guess like drinking is part of the responsibilities that you have to account for. I mean to be fair British people are drinking way before 18 so <sighs> Your excessive use of lad and mate. Why can't you just say friend? I don't get it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> just imagine, imagine going shopping with your mate, like or with your friend. Sorry, go, go shopping with your friend, and just go, yo, friend, friend, what's up? Let's go for a cheeky Nando's. <laughs> ah! Ah! Why? Lad, mate, it's just kind of all right, mate. It's just part of British culture. We can't. Lad and mate are just kind of words we use for friend, like a bit more slang. But to to change that to friend makes no sense because it just makes us. It's a little bit more inform. It's a bit more formal to go, hello, friend. The ne the next one. Is what the because mm, it, it 
it's been blurred out on the site I'm using. What the m is a scone, it's called a biscuit. Mate, mate. Scones and biscuits are separate things, mate. What you call cookies, we call biscuits, and if it's a chocolate chip cookie, we call them cookies. But don't touch our baked goods. Mary Berry will come after you. Along with Paul Hollywood and Ugh. This isn't this is making me Ugh. Can I add learn to take a joke to the thread because y'all can't seem to take one? <laughs> I'm sorry, but British people are the kings and queens of taking jokes in the world. I mean, we take the piss out of each other every single day of our lives. It's just how we roll. We take the, like, one thing that I like about British, like, British culture is when a celebrity, politician, anything like that does something wrong, we we as Britain tend to respond with humour. We tend to just, like, we do satire and just demeaning them and making it absolutely just ridiculous. And I think that personally works better than sometimes just attacking them. Obviously it depends what the per person topic, what it is about. But certainly quite a lot of, I think, British, I don't want to say problems, a lot of British like, politics and events that have happened, you can find quite a lot of comedy that has come out of it. So I mean, we can take a joke. Uh, I literally made that thread based off a British person that I met on vacation. Y'all need to chill. I'm pretty sure the entire British population is in my mentions. <laughs> and the and the site, the site, I haven't read it all out loud because the, the site is the Metro. And like they've written like little, little things in between and right at the end they've gone, we told you, don't mention our scones. Yeah. I mean... Don't, don't, don't have a go at the British people, we will, we will get you. Yeah. Okay, so I said I was going to do two. The, the BuzzFeed one, the 21 thing, things people hate about British people. I'll probably do that in a separate video to try and cut down on the length that these are because I think I took too long on that one. So I'll be, I'll be filming it right after this one. But uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope you do check out the next one. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much. Please give a like and subscribe if you like. Bye bye.